Hi, welcome to Unlock Layout and Design and today we are going to discuss about latch-up in FDSOI. For this, uh, we must always uh, be aware of what is uh, latch-up and how to prevent latch-up in CMOS technology. So for that, I request you to watch the video about uh, latch-up and also uh, how to prevent latch-up. There are two videos uh, about uh, latch-up. Please uh, go. Before getting into the latch-up phenomena in uh, FDSOI, we'll try it and understand some basic, which is nothing but the bulk bias. Okay. Suppose I have a N MOSFET like this. Okay. So normally the bulk is connected to ground. Instead, if I connect the bulk to some voltage, say to some positive voltage, and increase this voltage, what happens? This is a drain gate source if i increase this voltage what happens to vth vth will decrease if i increase this voltage then vth will decrease and this is known as the bulk bias and that's why the bulk is also called as back gate okay it's also called as back gate Now same thing I can do it uh, in PMOS also. Okay, so this is the bulk. Okay, so bulk of the PMOS. What do I do? I change the voltage, and then what happens to the VTH? It will change. So similarly, I can do it for the NMOS as well. This is the bulk normally connected to ground. Okay, bulk of NMOS is normally connected to ground but in this case i have a voltage and i'll vary it so when i change this voltage depending on forward bias and reverse bias what happens the vth of this transistor will change okay so but then this substrate is always connected to ground correct the nmos substrate so if i want to change the uh, substrate voltage or the bulk of bulk voltage of a nmos i cannot do it straight away so i have to use what is known as the deep n well so in this now this is my bulk okay so all these topics are discussed uh, deep n well so you can look into the other video so now this is the bulk voltage this one i can vary okay so hope this is clear so when i vary the bulk voltage depending on forward bias or reverse bias the vth will either in uh, decrease or it will increase okay so this is about bulk bias so we spoke about this because this is extensively used in fdsoi okay so one other important point uh, is this bulk is connected to the voltage directly okay so whatever voltage is applied the, it is directly getting shorted to the bulk here so here also whatever voltage i apply so that voltage is directly getting shorted to the bulk okay. so this is a soi without a bulk bias so how will it be so i have a uh, p p channel this is a p mos and this is a n mos and this is the buried oxide okay and this is the substrate okay if i want to apply a voltage i can't do it because this substrate is common for all the mosses this entire substrate it is common for all the uh, p mos n mos for every uh, for all the transistors this is the common substrate so i cannot do a bulk bias okay now let's try and understand what do you mean by forward biased bulk and a reverse biased bulk in FDSOI structure. So this is a typical uh, FDSOI structure. This is a NMOS and this is a PMOS. So this will be a N channel here and this will be a P channel here. Okay. So what is the specialty of FDSOI? You will always have a buried oxide layer instead of the substrate and I have insulation around also. So here also I have a buried oxide and then I will have the channel getting inverted here. Okay. So this will be like N and it will become like P and this will be like a P and it will become 
like n n channel will get formed okay so now earlier if i have to connect uh, the bulk voltage i have to directly connect it to the substrate is itself okay i had to connect it here but now i will not be doing it that way i'll be connect connecting the bulk voltage this is the bulk i will be connecting the voltage here okay so when i connect here this is this acts like the same gate here okay how this gate uh, uh, affects the channel here same way this this um, back uh, bulk also affects the channel in the same way so it is like you have the gate and then you have the insulator and then you have the channel here it is the gate and you have the insulator which is box here and then you have the channel so that's how it influences the uh, conductive region between these two n pluses by uh, applying a bias so if you do a forward bias then vth will will reduce if you do a reverse bias vth will increase okay so that's how we do it for a n mos okay and for a p mos what we do is we will apply it here okay we and uh, where will i connect this one this voltage i will connect it to the highest supply or the highest voltage vdd okay if i want to change the voltage of uh, the threshold voltage of a p mos then i have to vary the voltage here this is how i do so normally how much voltage will i apply here so normally we will apply the bulk voltage it will be variable it will go as high as say 3.6 volts i will be varying it up to 3.6 volts and what is that that will, so this could be a 1.2 volt transistor but the bulk voltage can go up to uh, 3.6 volts Wha what is the limitation it's the breakdown voltage breakdown voltage that limits this otherwise i will have no limit on this it's only the breakdown voltage and people want to vary from 0 to 3.6 and sometimes minus 3.6 to plus 3.6 okay so this is the general range at which this um, uh, the bulk voltage is varied or the bulk bias voltage is varied now let's see uh, the structure of the fdsoi uh, inverter okay this is the nmos and this is the p mos here so this p well is a p region and this is a n region and this is again a p region and this is a n region so p n p n region is there and i can get a p n a pnp transistor and a npn transistor here so similar to the bulk cmos i can get a pnpn junction as shown here so the p will be the p well the n plus will be the uh, the n region will be the uh, deep n well and then the p substrate will act like the p and that's how a pnp transistor is formed and the npn transistor is formed by deep n well the substrate and the n well so i have a pnpn junction and this is vulnerable to latch up so normally this voltage the n plus or the deep n well voltage is connected to the highest voltage which is the 3.6 volt and this voltage can vary the, this p plus voltage can vary and it will vary from say some 0 to 3.6 volt so when it is uh, say the highest voltage or if the voltage is lesser so the, how is this one this is like a diode like this right this is p and this is n there is a diode between like this so this is already connected to 3.6 and till this is even if this is 3.6 this is not forward biased okay so this one is always reverse biased only when a spike okay only when so this one is at 
3.6 volt and say this one is also at 3.6 volt and how do we give this variable voltage to this bulk so normally we will have a LDO so we will have a regulator a LDO like this so this is the extreme uh, voltage here so this will be the voltage which will be given and this is the LDO output which will become the bulk bias okay so that is given here and by uh, some spike comes here that same spike comes here and then that will forward bias this VBE okay and then LHF will occur so how do I prevent a latch up okay so uh, to prevent latch up if I increase the distance between this N well and deep N well sorry deep N well and N well so will that help so they found out that this was not very effective so what they did is instead of having only so next what they tried is instead of only having a N connection they put a ring actually so both sides I'll put a ring like this okay so if I put a ring for deep N well will that help so that they tried and with that also it was not very effective so wh what found to be effective is putting a double guard ring so means the width of this guard ring is two times okay two times width of guard ring and this helped for bulk biases up to like 1.8 volt but still for the 3.6 volt kind of bulk bias this was not enough so for that what they did is put a resistance along with this around 50 ohms 50 ohms of resistance and then connect it to whichever voltage okay so the variable voltage so that along with this will help even for 3.6 volt bulk bias so how do i prevent so just to summarize quick summary is like i have to increase the uh, width of this uh, guard ring for two times so double guard ring and then also put a resistance around 50 ohms of resistance and then connect it to the bulk bias so this is the way to prevent latch up so thanks for watching hope you like the video and if you have any questions please post it in the comments section and don't forget to hit the like button and also share and subscribe thank you